This screencast will demonstrate how to conduct a sensitivity study in Aspen Plus software. The sensitivity study will be performed on the chlorobenzene plant we have been building since Chapter 1, Introduction to Aspen Plus. To begin, open your completed simulation from Chapter 6, running the chlorobenzene plant simulation. Purge the results. Under the Model Analysis tools on the menu tree, click on Sensitivity. First, we are going to study how fluctuations in the benzene feed flow rate will affect the chlorobenzene product streams. Create a new sensitivity study and select new from the variable number drop-down menu. Select the type as mole flow and specify the stream as the benzene feed stream. Choose benzene as the component to vary. Specify the range of variation as 120 to 300 kmol per hour in increments of 20. On the Define tab, input the two variables monofrac and difrac. To define the monofrac variable, first select streams as the category. Select the type as molefrac and the stream as p-mono and the component as monochlorobenzene. Click the green next arrow to specify the difrac variable. Select the category as streams, the type is molefrac, the stream as p-di, and the component as dichlorobenzene. Next, go to the tabulate tab. This will allow us to view the results in tabular form. Enter the column number as 1, and enter monofrac exactly as you typed it on the define tab. Specify the second column number as 2 and the variable as difrac. Run the simulation. To view the results, click on the results folder under S1 on the menu tree. We can see the tabulated results here. To generate a graph, click on the results curve on the top menu bar. Plot the monofrac and difrac variables as a function of the benzene feed flow rate. We can see how the two variables change as the benzene feed flow rate changes from 120 to 300 kmols per hour. Next, we are going to perform a sensitivity study to learn how changes in the light key recovery in the second distillation column affect the two product stream compositions. Define a new sensitivity study. Input the manipulated variable type as block variable, the block as a second distillation column, and the variable as a light key recovery. Enter a range from 0.5 to 0.99 in increments of 0.01. On the Define tab, define the monofrac and difrac variables as previously shown. Follow the same procedure for tabulating the results on the next tab. Run the simulation and view the results. You can again look at the results in tabular form or create a plot to visualize the results. We can see how the mono and di product stream compositions change as a function of the light key recovery in the second distillation column. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to study design specifications in Aspen Plus software. For further Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel. For further Aspen Plus tutorials, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.